A very good afternoon to all of you and welcome to an exceptionally exciting start to our sunset safari live from the Maasai Mara in Kenya with probably one of the most famous male lion coalitions of all time, the Musketeers. Not to be confused with the te cheetah musketeers who are also one of the most famous coalitions of all time. My name is Jamie and this afternoon Manu is on camera with me. The weather is rolling in at a rate of knots out here in the Mara. Brent is already caught in the storm. The, w the rain is blowing across in our direction. We're actually probably going to have to move pretty soon. But I just had to show you all four male lions in their absolute glory. The first time I've ever seen all four of them together and what a spectacular sight it is and are we going to sit and watch them in the rain because this is a live safari for those of you that are new first of all you picked a good afternoon to start watching second of all you can ask questions and feed through comments on hashtag safari live on Twitter Anu <laughs> I'm trying to oh, oh by the way there's one thing I do want to show you quickly when he's up one of them does have a very nasty injury and just to let you know the rangers are aware of it you can see it's been stitched up in the past and he's pulled the stitches he's burst the stitches so he does have a very nasty gash on his leg oh poor boy oh flop i know can't be that much fun walking on that oh scars up this is so wonderful this really is they're all limping all four of them scar flop you and that mane you belong in some kind of shampoo commercial you really do or possibly styling mousse now he's hiding his face look he's embarrassed <laughs> foot up in the air in submission how utterly what a fantastic what a fantastic start to our afternoon. Manu and I have had the most wonderful day. Just as the sunrise safari ended, we found a female leopard near the salt lick. We followed her for a little while. Unfortunately, she took us down into a no signal area. So although we tried to stay with her, she went to sleep in the most uncomfortable looking tree in the most awkward spot for us. And then I got a report that Scar was here under one of the gardenias. I did not expect to find all four of them and I'm so, so excited for the afternoon ahead. They're all four of them looking pretty hungry. They're looking a little battle worn. Although that doesn't stop them from picking a fight with the odd fly, does it mister? And as I said, the first time I've ever seen all four of them together. I've seen three of them together, but this is a first for me. I mean, you want to know how Scar got his impressive scar. Now, it's something that we need Mr. Scar to look up for, I think, this particular explanation, although he seems to be relatively reluctant. Manu, I think the rain just blew past us. I think we just were saved. I think we got so lucky. Um, so Scar got his scar in a massive fight with another male. I'm not sure which males. I know in the past that the Musketeer Male Lung Coalition have come into come to blows with Blackie and Lipstick, the four kilometer boys on the other side of the river. And as far as I know, the four kilometer boys took over a part of their territory towards the ridge. Now, I'm not sure about whether or not Scar obtained his scar during that battle. I don't think so. But I can tell you that it was a fearsome looking wound when he first acquired it. You can just imagine raw, red, painful looking. It was treated by a vet. It is one of the things that makes Kenya slightly different to South Africa in that natural injuries in the Maasai Mara are treated by vets. Look at this poser. Mane blowing in the wind. A little bit of a limp, but he'll be okay. So, the only thing really that I could say more impressive than the males, four male lion's manes would be that of Brent Leo Smith after three days across the river without a hairbrush.